I'm Bridget Fettersey, and this is your Dumpster Fire for the month of March 1st to March 31st, AUC 710. That's 44 BCE. And the unicorns dance while the world burns, world burns, world burns. We're using the Julian <laughs> calendar date because... Because <laughs> we're in real time, obviously. Yeah. The Julian calendar was just enacted the year before. Because obviously we're shooting this in real time in 710. It takes time AUT. to adjust to a new year. In ancient Rome. <laughs> <laughs> This is going to be very confusing for you. <laughs> it's going to be confusing for us. <laughs> All right. Our first ever historical edition of Dumpster Fire. I feel like a child playing dress up in a garage, which is exactly pretty much <laughs> what I am, only I'm not a child. I'm all over the place. This is like a pleb dress, but I've got gold on and I've got Cleopatra eyes. And a Caesar crown. And a Caesar crown. <laughs> and look at Karen. Would you believe? Karen looks better than me. <laughs> Karen looks She's more at on least point. on theme. Yeah. She's got one theme going. <laughs> I'm all over the place. I always wanted to do this because I just wanted to illustrate what a dumpster fire humanity has been throughout all of time. And now we're shooting some of these historical dumpster fires for your viewing pleasure. Well, I am away breastfeeding, being a just cow for six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see the behind the scenes for this shit show, which if this doesn't make you subscribe, nothing will, <laughs> then I suggest you go to fetacy.com and join us. You can subscribe and there's lots of content behind the paywall. You also get the ad free version of Dumpster Fire where we do no ad reads and you can get workouts and all kinds of extra perks. And if you love this show, this is the best way to support us. All right. We're going to try this. We'll see how it goes. We really have no idea. It's a work in progress. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Starting off with R.I.P. Rome's dictator for life, Julius Caesar, was murdered March 15th in the Senate chamber. He was stabbed 23 times by conspirators who believed to themselves to be the saviors of liberty and democracy, dozens of senators are suspected to have been involved in the conspiracy. Now this is what I call an insurrection. <laughs> <laughs> they even took Caesar's podium. <laughs> they were not messing around. This is a literal conspiracy, not like a conspiracy theory. I don't know what we're going to do around here because it's going to get crazy, I think. You can't just go around murdering presidents. Murdering dictators for life. <laughs> dictators for life? Can't just go around willy-nilly murdering dictators for life. In the Senate chamber. Can't just take out world leaders <laughs> in front of all his friends. <laughs> Even though he was a literal dictator. <laughs> was he, though? That was his title, was dictator he for was life. He was the dictator for us, Maggie. <laughs> he was our dictator. He was our dictator. Things have been going great. The plebs love. Think him. of all the things that he he's done for us, plebs. Yeah, yes. he conquered Gaul. He ended the Gallic Revolt. Uh huh. He defeated Pompey. Yeah, Pompey. Whoever the <laughs> f that is, <laughs> he defeated him. <laughs> he even had a baby with Cleopatra. He's already got Caesar's strength. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe I'm pregnant with Caesar's baby too. I loved Caesar. <laughs> Caesar did so much for me. I loved what he was really establishing here in this Roman city that we adore. There was so much prosperity. We were doing great. And now that's all been ruined by these senators. I think what I'm going to do is dedicate a salad to him. <laughs> a salad? That's the way that I can. we can really honor him, this great man. We can... Dedicate some lettuce and croutons and parmesan in his name, and he will be remembered forever. I think the secret should really be in the dressing. It's the anchovies. 
I'll I don't remember. even think that's where Caesar salad came from. No. But <laughs> There's going to be a lot of chaos after this. I don't know about you guys, but I sense the downfall of Rome. <laughs> In a couple hundred years. <laughs> I think we're going to continue to rule. <laughs> it's the downfall of the Roman Republic. <laughs> it might take a few hundred years, but I see it coming. <laughs> Parade of morons. Marcus Junius Brutus. He was a former friend of Caesar's and one of the conspirators who murdered him. And he prepared to deliver a speech celebrating the Roman Republic's restoration right after Caesar's murder. And he was shocked to find out Outrage rather than praise greeted him after the dictator was killed. This guy's getting up there with the election was stolen speech (laughs) and suddenly realizes that people aren't happy about it. (laughs) Et tu, Brute? I don't think we're properly understanding how messed up this is. Dictator for life got murdered on the Senate floor in Frickin' cold blood, broad daylight. By a bunch of senators. By a bunch of senators. This isn't like just someone getting smacked across the face at an award show or something like that. Yeah. (laughs) This is like real deal shit. Stone cold stabbing. This is just life for us here now. (laughs) This is chaos. I thought we were civilized people. We need law and order. You know who imposed law and order? The dictator for life. I appreciated his stern hand. (laughs) And then we've got Mark Antony is trying to position himself as Caesar's rightful successor. And he delivered a powerful funeral oration. But Caesar's sickly nephew, Octavian, is named as his primary heir and successor in Caesar's will. Dun, dun, dun. I think Mark Antony's got this in the bag. No problem, right? I think so. He's I got think the he's army. got it. He's popular. Yeah, he's he's a good war leader. I think that, you know, Octavian doesn't really have a shot here. He's just a sickly weakling loser. Yeah, I don't think he's very popular either. He's sick. He can't rule a country. He looks weak. No one wants a weakling ruling their country <laughs> after a dictator for life. And Mark Antony is strong and hot. Yeah. My money's on Mark Antony. <laughs> I think I'm going to be right. Will you wear the crown? Why do you think I came all this way? BDE Award. Cleopatra, who killed her co-ruler and brother, Ptolemy the Fourteenth, and became the ruler of Egypt, naming her three-year-old son, Caesarion, her co-ruler. Ha! Cleopatra's a woman after my own heart. She's not afraid to murder her husband slash brother <laughs> to get ahead. <laughs> Ptolemy didn't kill himself. <laughs> Can you believe she did all of this and she wasn't even that hot? I mean, I bet she was like striking looking. She just supposedly had a really big Greek, Greek nose. I think she would have gone farther ahead if she was hot. <laughs> Probably. She went pretty far, though. She did. She's, she's going far. She's doing well, but she's not all she's cracked up to be from what I've heard. But oh. she's brilliant. She's brilliant and ruthless. Yeah. That's really all you need. Brilliant, ruthless, rich, and... And not afraid to murder her brother. (laughs) Two of her brothers. I say murder as many brothers as you need to (laughs) to stay in power. (laughs) Dumpster fire does not condone violence or killing your family. (laughs) I also think that she's going to be looking to align with our hot ruler, Mark Antony. That's the word on the street. What a I'm power hearing. couple they will make. They would be such a power couple. <laughs> Good old Cleo from the block. We'd like to take a quick minute to thank our sponsors. This is not going to make very much sense in the context of this show. <laughs> Created by an Iraq war veteran. To help keep its parts dry in the desert, Sheath Underwear has an ingenious contraption made to hold the family jewels in place. The dual pouch system 
revolutionize the way that men can move throughout the world with dignity and without having to think about their balls. It cradles the balls and you have a little hole so your genitalia can be separate, no sweat. You can dance, you can mow the lawn, you can do your chores. Caesar was a military man and I'm sure he would have appreciated these had he not been murdered. You also have a line for the ladies. A sports bra. Yes, in the future, ladies are allowed to play sports. The sports line is amazing. It has modal fabric. It can help you keep everything nice and balanced, your pH. There's booty shorts, cheeky boy shorts. And if you go to sheathunderwear.com, you can use the code DUMPSTER to get 20% off your entire order. That is sheathunderwear.com and use the code DUMPSTER for 20% off your entire order. Link is in the description below. Are you addicted to smoking opium like so many of us? Whatever you're addicted to smoking, we're excited to partner with Fume because Fume is the natural inhaler designed for better, safer, and natural way to quit smoking Whatever it is you might be addicted to smoking. It's a no smoke, no vape, and no nicotine replacement for the hand to mouth habit of smoking whatever it is you're addicted to smoking. Fume is made of 100% Canadian maple and uses cores infused with plant oils that are studied to curb cravings. They have flavors like peppermint, invigorate, bubbly lime. I really love Fume. It's so great. So many people I know have started using it and it's helped them quit that hand to mouth addiction, which is one of the hardest parts of quitting. Whether you're a smoker or an ex-smoker who still struggles with cravings, Fume is a perfect tool for you. And it's time to create positive habits and quit naturally with Fume. Right now, if you head to breathefume.com slash Bridget and use the code Bridget, you'll get 10% off your entire order. Go to breathe. B-R-E-A-T-H-E-F-U-M dot com slash Bridget. Use the code Bridget for 10% off your entire order. The link is in the description below. Are you tired of feeling like someone's always watching you on the internet? Maybe advertisers know a little too much about you or you're concerned about the privacy of your identity? Using incognito mode won't solve the problem either. IPVanish VPN is here to protect your right to privacy and help you stay anonymous online. What's online, you might ask? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> IP Vanish helps you safely browse the internet without exposing your private details to third parties such as hackers, your ISP, or advertisers. When you use IP Vanish, all of your data is encrypted, and this means that your private details, passwords, communications, browsing history, and more will be completely shielded from falling into the wrong hands, even your physical location will be hidden. So stop sharing with the world everything you watch and everything you search for and everything you buy. IP Vanish is offering an incredible 70% off their yearly plan for our listeners with a 30-day money-back guarantee. That's just like getting nine months for free when you go to ipvanish.com slash dumpster and use the promotional code dumpster, you can claim your 70% savings. That is ipvanish.com slash dumpster to claim your 70% savings, use the code DUMPSTER. The link is in the description below. And just like that, she's gone. Then we have Get Wrecked, Big Tech. It's the battle of the new world calendars. The new Julian calendar was put into effect on January 1st of last year, 45 BCE. Wouldn't it be 710? Well, 709. 709. Yes. It's a a u c seven What was it before the Julian? A- uh, it was the Roman calendar. It was like a m- messy disaster. How do we not even have our shit together with days? I know calendars. We're, we're just getting our feet we under can- us with this new calendar. <laughs> we can come up with numbers, but we can't do calendars. <laughs> we can come up with numerals. We can't figure out what day it is. Well, then there's another competing calendar on the other side of the world: the Mayan Mesoamerican long count calendar. Is- I I heard that they predicted the end of the world. Really? Mm-hmm. 2012. 2012. Wow. We'll never make it. <laughs> Should we stock up on toilet paper? <laughs> <laughs> What's toilet paper? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see which one of these calendars can uh s- will last. Which one will survive? I'm personally banking on the Mayan Mesoamerican calendar. I mean, if they can predict the end of the world, what can't they do? <laughs> Get your shit together and figure out what calendar you're going to use. I need to know what day it is. We don't even know what day it is. This is ridiculous.
I'm embarrassed for us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's move on then to Conspiracy Corner with Sammy Flaps and Folds. There's lead in the aqueducts. <laughs> Don't drink the water in the aqueducts. <laughs> Sam, there's Stop lead. Spouting Sam, your crazy nonsense. This is a miracle of engineering. There is lead in the aqueduct. It brings us clean water. It is no. a feat of engineering that has saved us. So it is not We are clean. an agricultural wonder of the world. The lead will poison well, you. Well, what's wrong with lead? I mean, it's yeah, just it's used good. as a building material. Why are you so we freaked out about lead? shouldn't be drinking lead? it. <laughs> Why? There's lead in the aqueducts. Who cares if there's lead in the aqueducts? What harm could that have You'll us? say sorry when you're dead. They bring us clean water. <laughs> All I know is it's not good. <laughs> I don't trust She's it. She's just like a lunatic <laughs> <laughs> screaming about lead in the aqueduct. There's lead in the aqueducts! <laughs> don't drink the lead in the aqueduct! She wanders around Rome <laughs> screaming about lead. This is the team we have here at Dumpster Fire. There's lead in the aqueducts! <laughs> I, you know what my prediction is? The downfall of Rome. <laughs> <laughs> this will be the downfall of Rome, the aqueducts. You keep predicting the downfall of Rome. How what could possibly ever Look what happened to Greece. This empire. <laughs> yes, but we're we're much more evolved and better than Greece. That's what Greece thought. The too. Greasers were just had sex with little boys. They're having sex with little boys too. There's <laughs> pedos everywhere. <laughs> And once again, we're back on brand. <laughs> There's lead in the aqueducts. <laughs> We've got to put that on a t-shirt. There's lead in the aqueducts. <laughs> There's lead in the aqueducts. It's like the most inside of jokes ever. <laughs> There's lead in the aqueducts. Let us know in the comments below if you would buy it. There's lead in the aqueducts. I do want you to let Maggie know in the comments below. What other moments from history you'd like to see us cover? Oh, yeah, that's good. Usually we try and center it around one event and then look what's going on around in the world. But Right. Get wrecked, China. <laughs> uh, where's China? <laughs> There's a lot going on in China and India. The Qin Dynasty's Great Wall is falling into disrepair. <sighs> Fix the wall. Fix the wall. Fix the wall. Fix the wall. My prediction is that you're going to get raped and pillaged. <laughs> That's true of like any point throughout human history. <laughs> That's why it's never wrong. They built a wall and they made China pay for it. <laughs> they being China. <laughs> the era of the Great Wall is over. I don't think they're ever going to fix it. I don't think it's going to last. That wall's toast. Yeah, they're never going to be able to cover that much area. Give me a break. That's a huge border to try and build it's a not wall happening. across. My prediction is that this is not happening. <laughs> this is an impossible feat. Then we have weather. We will now check in with the high priestess for a precipitation prophecy. Continúa el termómetro marcando 26 grados centígrados en esta ocasión el viento completamente en calma, la humedad bastante elevada. She's speaking in tongues. <laughs> it's the language of the gods. What did she say? The gods have spoken. Does anyone know what she said? <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter, she's so hot. <laughs> important stories we're ignoring. There is nothing important going on anywhere else in the world. Rome is the center of the universe, and anything that happens outside of its boundaries doesn't matter. Other than China. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Breaking Bridget. The condition of the plebs? My Breaking Bridget is that while all of these senators are worried about preserving their own wealth and decided to murder our dictator for life, the rest of us were prospering. We had it great after the conquering of Gaul by our dictator for life and the trickle-down economics of all of the prosperity came down to us plebs here in these undisclosed locations talking to two of our friends, or three of our friends. <laughs> And now I have to worry about civil war? Like, I need that. Sh I'm just trying to get through the day. You know how hard it is to live? I've got to do things like bake bread and wash clothes. 
by hand, and I have to take care of all of these children that I have, and I'm supposed to worry now because you senators didn't care about the plebs, and you only cared about preserving your own personal wealth? This is bullshit. Do you think this is going to save the Republic? Well, my prediction is that this is the downfall of Rome. (laughs) He was everyone's hero. We loved him. We plebs loved him. Just because you guys were jealous that he was dictator for life, you're going to come along and ruin the good thing that we had. All we had to worry about was rooting for our favorite charioteer. And now I have to worry about civil war and my husband going to battle. Morons! Morons! Can you imagine? Can you imagine? This is like somebody, a small, little, scrappy, upstart country leader beating a massive world power and then getting murdered a couple of months later. By his friends. (laughs) It's crazy. Yeah, by his freaking senators. Yeah. I can't even get my mind around how crazy this is. And you know who this is going to hurt? The plebs. The literal plebs. As it always does. The plebs are going to pay. The internet is glorious. prediction about the internet this will be the downfall of democracy (laughs) and the free world (laughs) fantasy news we have a lot of great guests on walk-ins welcome while i am off so check out walk-ins welcome don't miss a new episode please subscribe wherever you get your podcasts we have dumpster fire the podcast and we're going to be doing stuff like this uh and pivoting into history and out of the culture wars so join us well, we we're pivoting, we're pivoting, we're pivoting. Pivot! I can dress, I can dress up in costumes and look ridiculous, and you can see how dumb I am. Check out my Substack Beyond Parody with Bridget Fetacy. That is on Substack. You can subscribe for free. It's a great place to keep track of us, and we will be putting out, you know, newsletters and information about what's new, and it's. A lot of material coming. All of our stuff is on Rumble. First, and join the community at Fetacy.com for the unedited version of this, as well as workouts, the ad-free version of Dumpster Fire, and a whole community of people that I think you'll really enjoy. And Dumpster Fire, the unedited, is released on Sunday, so you get it a day before you get your Monday fix. Shop our merch at BridgetFetacy.com. We will soon have a shirt that says there's lead in the aqueducts. If, 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 you wa- the <laughs> if you say you want one. If, you, if, if five of you say you want a lead in the aqueduct <laughs> shirt, we will make one for you. Thank you to our sponsors, Sheath, IP Vanish, and Fume. Can't do this without our sponsors. Thank you to supporters, subscribers. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Touch my bells and buttons. Thank you, Matt Monroe, Dave Yates, and Better Fantasy for the research, the joke writing, and trying to make something great, even when we're off. And thank you, Luna, our fancy Italian historian and makeup artist. (laughs) Thank you, Zen Pro Audio, for the mic. Go to zenproaudio.com for all of your audio needs. Thank you, Maggie, for the book report. Thank you, Bridget. (laughs) I don't know what we're going to make of this. I don't know either. (laughs) But I still think it's going to be hilarious. Please let us know in the comments how you feel about this (laughs) historical dumpster fire. (laughs) Look, they're a work in progress. They'll get better, okay? It's a very hard needle to thread being in the future and the past at one time. But with the mix up with all these calendars, this is what, what happens. You end up in the future and the past. Thank you, Sammy Flaps and Folds. Thank you, Queen Fetacy. <sighs> and thank you, Matilda, for hanging in there. 
And thank you, Mr. Fetacy, for not being mortified of your wife. <laughs> <laughs> this has been your dumpster fire for the month of March 1st to March 31st, AUC 710, a.k.a. 44 BCE. I'm Bridget Fetacy. Now make me rich so I, too, can be a senator.